So fire indications are given in a couple of places on the aircraft, but two in particular that we will look at is the overhead panel here. And the overhead panel would look something like this, or at the uh, quadrant here where we have the start buttons. Um, the, the enunciator panel will have some indication as well, and there would be some information provided on, on ECAM. But I'm just going to look at um, the procedure when, when we get a fire on, on this panel here. So, so normally um, this is the overhead panel and this is the uh, quadrant panel. If we get a fire uh, in engine one, for example, the red light here will illuminate. We'll also get a red light uh, here in the quadrant panel and we'll get an aural warning. It might be a continuous siren, or it might be fire, fire, fire. And we'll get a warning on the master um, enunciator panel. So what we can do then is uh, shut down the engine. So switch the engine off, then lift the guard. So when this guard is lifted, the push button can then be pressed. And when this push button is pressed, it silences the alarm. It closes the low pressure fuel valve. It closes the low pressure bleed air valve. It closes uh, the hydraulic pump isolation valve. It disarms the engine thrust reverser. It arms the fire extinguishant discharge squib circuit. It trips the engine electrical generator field relay, turns off the bell, which we just said, and it informs ECAS or ECAM, depending on the aircraft type, that um, the engine has been shut down. Okay, so even if we didn't shut down the engine, closing off the low pressure, low pressure fuel valve will shut it down anyway. Okay, so when the button has been pressed, it has armed the squib. So the squib uh, push button then illuminates. And when the button is pressed, so this is the button being pressed, that sends an electrical signal to the squib. So this is our squib. So once power is um, sent to the squib, it punctures this bursting disc. And that allows all the extinguishant in here to go out through the piping and into the engine. So out through the piping and into the engine. Let's, let's just see that again. Was it through it and the distinguishant goes into the engine. Now as the distinguishant goes into the engine, the pressure inside here will, will decrease and that will send a signal back to the overhead panel saying that the extinguishant has been discharged. Also, uh, you may have um, an external indication. So when the extinguishant goes down through the pipes, it blows out this um, yellow disc. So if I just, there it was before. And when it gets discharged, this yellow disc disappears. So this may or not be uh, available on the aircraft. So th this is an external disc, something that you can check for on the on the walk around to see if the disc is there or not. Okay, so the extinguisher has gone in and the discharge light illuminates. So the discharge light has illuminated. Hopefully then uh, that's enough to uh, extinguish the fire. And if it has the fire um, warning lights will go out. So that's uh, an overview of the process of putting uh, out the, a fire in the engine.